Hi everyone, Miss Hudson here. This book is called The Brain Forest, and it was written by Sandhya Menon and illustrated by Kushla Ross. Hey, did you know that brains are like forests? What? No. The human brain is amazing. Come with me, let's go. The brain forest is filled with unique brains, which makes it a beautiful thing. Can you imagine if there was only one kind of brain? Well, that would be boring. So many types of brains. That's how I like this space. Come with me. Let's explore some more. They have strengths and differences to embrace. These brains, there are a lot of them. These kinds of brains are called neurotypical, neurotypical brains. These brains, there are a lot of them. There are so many to find. You see the way our world is made? It's built with them in mind. These brains choose what to take in. They can filter out loud sounds. This makes it easy to focus even in busy surrounds. These brains use small talk naturally. With words, they can play games. It's much easier to find someone whose brain works just the same. This friend says, what's up? This friend says, you know, not much. Went for a bike ride with my family. How about you? Neurotypical brains. These brains have the label autism. Now, these brains are intensely wired. Emotions and senses can be magnified. Sometimes they find the world just a bit too much. No, it's not because they haven't tried. Noises too loud, lights too bright, clothes too itchy, sudden changes a fright. These brains know just what they like. Routine and sameness are soothing. Come get to know what they're into. Talk or use a device of their choosing. This friend is using a tablet. They wrote, what's up? And a friend replied, the sky. And then they said, did you know magenta is not a real color? Hmm. This brain has the label ADHD. And these brains, their thoughts go fast. A hundred miles an hour, their bodies race past. These creative brains connect ideas easily. They may dream of things from a long time ago. Fairies, footy, what's for lunch? Hang on, I'm supposed to get dressed. Oh no! And we see some really fast racing cars, but oh, this car went so fast it crashed. This person is relaxing and listening to music. Oh, I hope they're not forgetting anything. There's some brains with labels here. Dyslexia, dual diagnosis. That means two things in one. Here's another kind of brain where letters sometimes get blurred. These brains think best in pictures. They prefer patterns to reading words. Some brains have parts of others. Look, pink and blue in one. Did you know you can have parts of different brains? Now our learning has really begun. Brains that learn things slowly. Brains that learn things fast. Brains that do the same thing over and over. Brains that make sounds when they're not asked. Brains that speak. 
and brains that don't. Brains that do what they're told and brains that won't. Here are some of the labels. Intellectual disability, giftedness, OCD, Tourette's, situational mutism, PDA, persistent demand for autonomy. Brains that sing, brains that talk, brains that roll, brains that walk, brains that draw, brains that flap, so many more. That's not even a wrap. Our brains work in different ways. It's called being neurodiverse. There are endless ways brains can be right across the universe. Sometimes the things we're asked to do suit other brains more. When we ask everyone what they need, we know more than we did before. What does your brain need? Aha! Uh -huh. We can all make small changes that actually mean a lot. We can meet everyone's needs, starting with listening and a little thought. Hmm. You can type to express yourself. I'll still be your mate. Need some time to think about it? All good. I can wait. Another brain superpower, being able to wait. Our brains need different things. It's not the same for everyone. With just little changes made, together we can have fun. I'm feeling fidgety. I need to move. I'm feeling unsure. I need you to include me. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I need a safe space to go to. I'm feeling bored. I need to doodle while I listen. All of these kids are thinking all of these thoughts about what their brains need. Let's think. What are some things your brain is good at? Making friends anywhere? Remembering things someone just told me? Solving problems? Caring about others? Writing stories? Understanding rhythms and beats? Following the rules? Remembering something from a long time ago? Creating new things and ideas? Is your brain good at any of those things? Can you think of any more of your strengths? Pause the video and draw or write the things that your brain is good at. We're all good at different things. It's what the world needs. You might be a future childcare educator. If you can say, I'm good at caring for others. You might be a future sports person if you're good at kicking the ball. This friend is good at having lots of ideas. They might be a future creator. I'm good at, men at my subjects at school. I might be a future lecturer or teacher or professor. I'm good at following rules. Future police officer. I'm good at telling others what to do future president. I'm good at making friends. Future party planner. I'm good at understanding animals. Future veterinarian. Build a life based on your strengths. You'll flourish, almost guaranteed. Just like how forest magic is made of different trees, all of them unique and beautiful, perfect, just like my brain for me.
This is about the author. She's a writer. This is about neurodiversity. Look at that beautiful brain forest. Thanks for reading with me today. I hope you enjoyed The Brain Forest. Bye-bye.